Yes, without a doubt, sealing seams on glue down installations is very important, but since the carpet and flooring industry has not changed one bit in over 30 years, we got to mix it up and make things fun. So what's cracking? It's Carpet Mike here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com, and in this video, we are going to seal a carpet seam, doing everything crazy and wonky like you've never seen done before, and rewriting the book on how carpet installations are done. So first things first, we got some indoor-outdoor carpet. We're plugging the doorway here, and it's a quarter turn. Oh my goodness, it is is cringeworthy already. So check this out. The key to a great seam is having a sharp blade. That's it. You can pretty much do whatever you want after that as long as that blade is sharp. So we're going to go ahead and put a nice fresh blade in here and I'm going to double cut through both of these pieces of carpet. But wait, it gets better. So let's go ahead and cut from corner to corner so we get a nice straight line in this and it will seam up oh so beautifully when I'm done. Unfortunately, I'm down in a basement. Horrible lighting in here. I wish I could really illuminate this situation here, but that's okay. All right, so we got it cut. Everything is good to go. We're going to toss that blade along the side there, trim that down a little bit, so when we're all done, we'll be able to just drop it right in place, tuck and go. Oh, no, let's get that out of there so we can seal that seam and put it together. This seems to be the biggest topic on every installer's mind, so let's go ahead and show how the real boss seals seam. What is that? A tube of liquid nails, and we're going to seal a carpet seam with it? Hey, why not? So we're just going to put a teeny tiny bead all the way down this seam and get it sealed in place. Look at that. This is phenomenal rewriting of the industry. I'm pretty sure CFI is going to reach out and sponsor me for reteaching all the installers the fun and fantastic ways to install carpet and flooring. So we got a nice little tiny bead of liquid nails. Heavy duty. We don't want to cheap out. We definitely want the heavy duty liquid nails on here. Then we're going to go ahead and line that up right there. Okay, everything's good. Don't want to push down too hard. Last thing you want is some liquid nails on top of the carpet. That would be a hot mess. Look at this. Not bad at all. That is one beautiful seam right there, Carpet Mike. Alrighty, everything's blended in, good to go. After that, we're just going to cut right to that track metal. We're going to do a vinyl T insert on there, and we are going to grab that check. That is having fun in the carpet and flooring industry. So consider taking on this strategy. Just less is more. Don't overdo it because too much will ooze through and it'll be a hot disaster. And not to mention, just have some fun and mix it up while you're working. Man, doing the same thing for 30 years is horrific. You got to start a new trend and that's what we're doing over here. So as always, I truly appreciate you tuning into this. Thank you so much. And I look forward to connecting with you on the next video.